So I've been playing Airsoft with Night Vision for almost a year and here's some of the things I've learned along the way. So this is my PVS-14 Night Vision Monocular. It's got a Brain Exploder Night Vision Recorder. I'm working on a video for that. So this thing is an expensive investment and you need to treat it like a baby. Or at least you should. Everyone's first time using night vision is always puts a big smile on their face. So I always like to share it with others. I try to at least. So most people at Airsoft Pickup Games have never used or barely used night vision. Because of that, everyone always wants to look through it. Night vision like this can typically cost upwards of $2,000 and it's not hard to damage them so when people want to play with my night vision and touch it and do all sorts of stuff i always say yes but don't be offended if someone ever says no when it comes to looking through night vision but almost everyone will say yes because they know people have never experienced it and someone who has night vision gets to experience it whenever they want obviously it's fun to share this kind of thing with other people especially if it's their first time it's always nice to put a big smile on their face it really makes their day so another thing i learned was that when you bring night vision out everyone automatically thinks you're really good at airsoft people think night vision automatically makes you a good player and sometimes they hold you at a much higher level for some reason just because i can afford night vision doesn't mean i have skills you still need to be a good player to win the game and work as a team Night vision is just an asset to help win the game. So because you have night vision, players are always asking you where the enemies are all the time. People already ask this with or without night vision where the enemies are. But when I'm at the front, I find that more people are much more likely to ask me in particular where the enemies are at. Just because I can see in the dark with my night vision doesn't mean I can see through walls. They think you can see everything everywhere as if I have x-ray vision. We gotta be a little more realistic. I'm basically a cat. I can see in the dark and that's really it. Although I don't have x-ray vision, I have been able to see people inside of buildings that you probably wouldn't normally be able to see. So people use these light up armbands here. They use these little armbands. The light itself, you can see it. You can see the light reflect off of things right here. Sometimes when I'm sneaking around in the dark with my night vision, I can just barely see a source of light coming from inside a building with my night vision. You'll see it reflect off of things right there. Since I have a monocular, I have one eye in the dark and another eye with my night vision on. And I can, my brain can only really focus on one of these at a time, either night vision or darkness so one time or a couple of times sometimes when I play I will see just a faint amount of light so with my night vision I was able to see just a little faint amount of light coming from a building but I can't really see colors with my night vision so I stared at it with my non uh, my my eye in the dark and I was able to tell that it was an enemy based on the color so I snuck around to where I can get the drop on them and then I pre-aim go around the corner boom 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 and I sneak back into the darkness and it's like hooray sneaky night vision kills although seeing in the dark can have its advantages a lot of players can't see what you see like someone sneaking around in the dark shadows that's when night vision really comes in handy so sometimes you have to communicate with your team because you can see things that they can't and you have to get their attention Sometimes people can barely see 50 feet in front of them at these night games. If I try to tell someone I'm crossing their line of fire, they might not have any idea I'm even talking to them. They might think I'm talking to some other player, or they might not just be paying attention. They're just focusing on playing the game and they don't realize I'm talking to them. So when I want to get someone's attention, I take the light of my on my rifle, I point it at the ground or a wall, and I just shine the light at them, and I wave my hand and say, hey, I'm crossing your line of fire, or hey, I see people over there, 
and I've learned this helps a lot. Another thing to do is do research on the laser that you're using, if you're using a laser. Check to make sure it's considered eye safe. We all like to protect our eyes from damage by wearing goggles, they don't get shot out. And ruining someone's eyes because of a laser is going to be a really jerk move. High power lasers are cool, but airsoft is just a game at the end of the day. Cool factor should not be placed before safety. Some airsoft fields simply ban lasers outright. My last night game I went to, lasers were completely banned because they were within the viewing distance of an airfield and the air control tower can actually see the airsoft game going on. We were relatively close. And this airsoft field did not want to take any chances so they, they just completely outright banned lasers. So like any good airsofter, know the rules, know the field and the rules that they make. The better you know the field, the better you can navigate and maneuver through the field, of course. If you're new at the field, just take it slow and learn your way around with and without night vision. Learn the ins and outs and all the little corners and hiding spots and things like that. The fact that you're using night vision at a pickup game is already awesome. Don't shine lasers in people's eyes. Have fun and just be safe and have a good time. You got night vision at an airsoft game, bro. How cool is that? So, anyways, that's it. I'm Molly the Lag. Okay, bye! Sometimes people can barely see 50 front of the... So most people... Where am I? Okay. <clears throat> most people at Airsoft pickup games have never used or barely have ever... Oh my god, where's my... Where am I in front? Ever I let people touch and play with these. Hold on, where's my thing? Come on. You still need to be a good player to win the game. And you still have to help and carry the team. Carry the team, dang it. I gotta start over. Although I don't have x-ray vision, I have been able to see people inside buildings that you normally wouldn't see or wouldn't be able to talk. Oh my god. Although seeing in the dark has its advantages, a lot of players can... Blah, 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 blah. Let me start that over. So sometimes you have to communicate with your team and how... <clears throat> Dang it. Touch and play with these. Touch and play with these. Touch and play with these.